Welcome to our channel Neurosurgery and Beyond. Today we will cover an important health topic brain abscesses in just 3 minutes. Infection in the brain. It starts with inflammation known as cerebritis and eventually forms a pocket of pus. If left untreated, a brain abscess can cause severe brain damage or even death. So how does this infection get into the brain? Brain abscesses can form from infection elsewhere in the body like the lungs or heart which spread into the brain through the bloodstream. They can also enter directly through the head injuries, surgeries or infections like sinusitis, otitis media and congenital conditions like cyanotic heart disease. And the stages of the brain abscess can be divided into four categories or stages. Number one, early cerebritis. Number two, late cerebritis. Number three, early capsule formation. Number four, late capsule formation. In the early stages, medications have a good response. Include headache, fever, nausea and neurological problems like seizure, confusion or weakness in certain parts of body. It is critical to seek medical help if you experience these symptoms as the condition can worsen quickly. Doctors use imaging tools like CT scan or MRIs to spot a brain abscess. These scans can reveal a swollen area or pocket opus in the brain. MRI is especially useful in showing the details of the abscess. Treatment often depends on the size of abscess. Small abscesses can sometimes be treated with antibiotics while larger ones may require surgery to drain the pus or relieve pressure from the brain. Early treatment can prevent serious complications. Conditions that mimic the brain abscesses are metastasis, glioblastoma, infarcts, demyelinating diseases, radiation necrosis. But with the help of MRS and diffusion weighted MRI, we can differentiate abscess from these conditions. A brain abscess is a medical emergency, but with early diagnosis and treatment, the outcome can be much better. If you found this video helpful, please share this to raise awareness regarding health. Now we will discuss a real case. 32 year old lady presented to us with complaints of fever, fits, and vomiting. Patient underwent surgery for her abscess and was discharged on antibiotics. Uh, in MRI, we can also see uh, ring enhancing lesion that is abscess in the frontal lobe. Thank you.